In this episode, we're going to talk about bed bugs, coronavirus, and how the two might impact each other. Will coronavirus make bed bugs go away? Tune in to find out. everybody to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about bed bugs, coronavirus, and how the two may impact each other. Um, you know, I tease in the opener, will, will coronavirus make bed bugs go away? No, but it may impact the spread of bed bugs uh, short term, or maybe even long term. We'll see. Um, you know, social distancing is really what we're talking about here, not coronavirus. Bed bugs can't get coronavirus. But if people are social distancing, that probably will slow the spread of bed bugs as long as social distancing is in place. Uh, so it's an uh, unintended positive of social distancing. Uh, we'll get into that in a second in regards to how that all works. And so coming to you live from my uh, home office, you know, I thought to myself, put a bed bug central shirt on and, you know, I got my nice new haircut here. My, my wife gave it to me this morning. Um, and, you know, look pretty for camera and whatnot. But, uh, you know what, I thought to myself, why not film this in the same way that we're living our day-in, day-out life right now? You know, here I am in my office, which is also my kid's playroom. As you can see, Mario is on the wall behind me. Uh, I've been sitting in this club chair for eight straight weeks now, and I'm quite sick of seeing it. Um, you know, I got my t-shirt on here. I practice jujitsu as a hobby. Uh, it's my other one of my other lives that I miss very much through all this uh, social distancing. Got my jogging pants on that I haven't taken off in eight weeks, I feel like. Um, and so I wanted to film this in the same vibe that we're all kind of living life right now. Um, and so bed bugs and social distancing, you know, bed bugs are a lot like a virus if you think about it. Uh, you know, <clears throat> they spread the same way. You know, you go over somebody's house, you don't know they have coronavirus, and then you potentially or unintentionally take it back home with you. You go over somebody's house that has bed bugs, you don't know they have bed bugs. What happens? You could potentially take it back with you. Uh, if you think about it, if people aren't, you know, taking in furniture, going shopping, going on vacation, visiting hotels, not having guests over, you know, those are all the same, th the ways with which bed bugs make it into our homes. And so if we're social distancing, one of the, uh, you know, unintended or, you know, not expected benefits of social distancing is that bed bugs probably aren't going to be spreading the same way. And so we'll split this into two topics, single family homes and apartments. And so when we talk about single family homes and, you know, everybody's hiding in their house as I am today, um, you know, it should slow the spread of bed bugs in single family homes. And, and we do anticipate that, you know, we're going to see a pretty dramatic reduction in activity of bed bugs in single family houses. Now, it's not to say that there aren't going to be areas of the country where that's not going to be the case. You know, we're talking big picture over the masses. And I'll also be the first to tell you that I have no clue what I'm talking about. Not quite that, but I, I nobody really knows what's going to happen here. And so this is just me taking big picture stabs at what might take place. But a lot of experts agree that social distancing should impact bed bugs, especially in single family homes. They will come back. You know, it might be three months. It might be six months. It might be a year. Um, but it should, at least in, in the short term, reduce the amount of bed bugs we're seeing in single family homes. Now, apartments are a totally different topic. You know, if you have an apartment community that has a history of bed bug activity, especially if there's seniors involved, you know, we unfortunately think that bed bugs are unfortunately brewing behind many closed doors right now. Um, you know, a lot of seniors and people living in apartments either A, don't want people inside their apartment for obvious reasons, or B, don't have anywhere to go when their apartment's being treated. And so we have a lot of reports from not just property managers, but also pest control companies. And property managers are saying, listen, I know I have bed bugs behind a lot of these doors, but I, I can't get people to leave and I can't force them to leave right now either. And so we unfortunately think that in, in buildings that have a history and probably some others as well, you're going to see a dam break here, let's say mid-June or, you know, it's mid-May when I'm filming this. So maybe in about a month, you're probably going to see a huge spike in calls from apartment communities because bed bugs that were there before this started are unfortunately still going to be there. And they're just reproducing over that time. And they're probably going to unfortunately be, be uh, worse than when they started. Um, and so if you have an apartment community that doesn't have a history, 
then, you know, it'll probably be relatively similar when this is all over. But it's, it's the ones that have a history that we're concerned about. There's not a lot anybody can do about it right now. Uh, we just have to hope that, you know, we find this new normal, which I'm tired of hearing, but this new normal, whatever that is, and we get some access to some of these apartments and, and we can start knocking some of these bed bug infestations that are brewing uh, out. And so those are kind of the two topics, single family homes, apartment communities, single family, you'll probably see social distancing decline the spread of bed bugs, you know, in the short term, and we'll see what happens long term. Multifamily housing, especially apartment buildings with a history, you know, you're probably unfortunately seeing things brewing behind closed doors, and we'll see what happens in a month or two when hopefully things start normalizing at least a little bit. Um... And so that's kind of bed bugs and what's going on. And again, I said it before and I'll say it again. I really don't know what's going to happen here. These are just big picture thoughts. Um, and then the other thing I want to mention, so I've got pest control professionals that watch bed bug TV, but I also have, you know, people that are trying to treat this on their own. And so for all you DIYers out there, um, I get it. You know, you don't want people in your house right now. Uh, you're scared of people spreading bed, uh, coronavirus into, into your home. You know, and, and that's totally understandable. But what I do recommend is contact your local pest control providers. Ask them questions about the precautions they're taking when they enter somebody's home. And you might be pleasantly surprised. You know, a lot of pest control companies are wearing respirators and Tyvek suits and, you know, all the same precautions that are being taken in hospitals for, you know, our, our first line, you know, healthcare providers. Pest control professionals are also taking because, you know, pest control is considered an essential service. And so a lot of the same precautions are being taken, which may put you at ease if one or two people do need to come into your home and help you treat your bed bug infestation. The last thing we want to see happen is somebody try to do this themselves and then, you know, two months pass, they haven't gotten rid of it, it's worse than when it started. And if they would have known pest control companies were taking proper precautions, they would have had them come in. And so call if you're comfortable, see what they're doing, and, and maybe you'll find the right fit for you and say, you know what, you know, I'm willing to take that small chance, especially with the right PPE in place. And uh, that's basically it, everybody. You know, so again, bed bugs don't get coronavirus. I don't want anybody to walk out thinking that. Um, but social distancing could impact bed bugs. And then some of the people that are hiding inside, especially in apartment communities, you know, for good reason. You know, unfortunately, there may be some things brewing behind those doors, and we're going to see what happens over the next month. And so, uh, if anybody has any questions, Jeff.White at bedbugcentral.com. Please email me if you have anything. And uh, I usually say talk to everybody or see everybody soon enough. But I'm going to say. Stay safe, stay healthy, and thank you to all our, you know, frontline healthcare workers that are out there risking their lives on the daily uh, to try to get everybody healthy and back, back on their feet again. So thank you very much for everything you're doing right now, uh, all our first line healthcare workers and, 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 you know, first responders. Thank you again.